Hello and welcome to the second lesson for Microsoft Word 2007. Today we're going to be using my discussion board called Mr. Seymour's Lab to help us through. We're going to be following the step-by-step -step instructions that you see on the discussion board. This lesson uh, is for Thursday, September 10th, 2009. The first thing it asks us to do is to open up Microsoft Word 2007. So we're going to go ahead and open that up. Turn that off there. Okay. And then the next thing it says, open your e-journal. This is a, a document we've already created in Lesson 1. So I'm going to go to the Office button, click on the Office button, then click on Open and then I'm going to navigate to my H drive. It's not in my documents. It's here in my H drive. There it is, eJournal. Click Open. And there's the first project that we did. Now I know this is some of the basics we really have to go over. So this is called an insertion point. We've called it a cursor. Uh, but anytime you click, it moves the insertion point wherever you'd like. Of course, you want to click at the end of a paragraph to continue on with this next post that we are going to make on eJournal. We're going to take a look at something called paragraph marks. Paragraph marks are located in the paragraph section of the home ribbon. You turn that on, and basically what it does is shows you where any time you press the Enter key. So if I click here and press Enter, you notice that it adds paragraph marks. Paragraph marks is uh, it's good for you to see if there's spaces and why something is the way it is. If we zoom in real close, you can see also that there's a dot in between each of the... Uh, anytime we put a space, it puts a little dot there. So we can see if there's too many spaces and that kind of thing. It's a useful tool to check your formatting of your document. So I just wanted you to check that out and, and have a look at, at what paragraph marks is. All right, let's get into making the new, uh, the new post for today. We're going to click the right align and type today's date. Well, after I press enter a couple times, we'll start down here. Press enter to move it down. Press the right align tool, which is up here. And we're going to type in today's date. Now, do you see what popped up there? This is called an autocomplete. It will actually complete the, the rest of the word for me because it, it knew I was trying to write the word September. So press Enter, and it completes it. This is the 10th and 2009. Actually, I could have pressed Enter again and, and completed the date that way. The next thing is, all right, I want you to think of a topic to write on. You could choose any one of the topics that are listed here. I'm going to go ahead and choose a, a book. And I'm going to press the Enter key and Center Up. That's what it says to do. Click Center Justify and write your title for your entry. So I'm going to write a great book that I have read. There's my title. I did capitalize each one of the words. The next step is to make the title bold and underline. You select your text by clicking and dragging across it. The mini toolbar pops up. I can use that to make it bold. The underline isn't there, so I have to go right up to the regular ribbon and do the, that right there. All right, so there's my title. The next step is to press Enter and turn off the bold and underline because it's still on. Whoops. Press Enter. Bold and underline is still on, so if I started typing, okay, if I started t typing, it would still all be bold and underline. So I have to turn that off. All right. So, and then what we need to do is, as it says in the directions, select a left alignment. So I'm going to align to the left and then begin typing my paragraph. There. So you should have two entries when you're done today. This uh, assignment is due at the end of the period uh, and it is worth 50 points. Make sure that you save your document 
when you are done.